Welcome to our continuing series, Questions and Answers, from the works of Sri Aurobindo and the Mother. Today, Flowers, Part 37. Question. Is there a relation between the perfume of a flower and its significance? Mother. Certainly there should be one, but so far I have not studied it. Question. How can one begin to study this relation? What is the first step? Mother. Study and experience. You take a flower with a strong and definite perfume. You breathe in this perfume, trying to find what thought or image it evokes. If you find something, you compare it with the significance given to the flower. It is a long and detailed work. After some hundreds of experiences, one may arrive at a conclusion. Question. In the study of perfumes of which you spoke, one observes that some perfumes seem to be made up of several perfumes. Must one then study each sub-perfume separately? Mother. Yes, certainly. If one wants to study this, it is terribly complicated. For not only are there differences between flowers, but even similar flowers must differ among themselves. Which means that the study can never come to an end, and one cannot reach anything final and complete. There is, you know, the influence of climate, the influence of the hour, day and night, the influence of the time of the year, the influence of seasons. Question. Scientists explain that flowers have perfume in order to attract insects. What do you think about that, mother? It is men who see and find a reason for everything. But I doubt if the Supreme has any such preoccupation. The Offering of Roses This is the tenderness of the Divine for Himself, the tenderness He has for His creation. Creation! I don't like that word, as if all were created for nothing. It is He Himself creating with all His tenderness. Some of these roses get quite big. They are so lovely. Question. Why do you generally give red roses to men, light-colored roses to women, and different colors to the little boys and girls? Mother. It is because red roses give an impression of force and light, colored roses an impression of charm and sweetness. Question. May I ask with what intention you give me one red rose and one light-colored one? Mother. The human being transforms all its passions into love for the divine, and the divine replies with his 
ineffable love. When I say divine love, I am speaking of the vibration of love that is at the origin of all love and that fills the universe. When I speak of the love of the divine, I am speaking of the love that the Supreme directs specially on a point, a person, or a thing.